this is a house call with a difference. A house call to the big house. They're three Labrador puppies, three very bad boys, and um, they're in the slammer. Chris is now on his way to a very different consultation at a prison in central New South Wales. Just turn around, put your arms out for me. Chris is an ambassador for Assistance Dogs Australia. Thank you very much. These three Labrador puppies, Yoshi, Yogi and Ziggy, are being trained to be assistance dogs for the disabled. How are they going? Yeah, he's going very well. Obedience-wise, obviously pretty good, Bill. Uh, not too bad, a bit boisterous at times. <laughs> This special program takes 18 months and is a reward for trusted inmates who are hand-picked to train the pups. They're getting worn down though. They yeah, must be so plenty of exercise. Take, take, take a lot of holes. <laughs> <laughs> not, not trying to dig out of you'll here, are right? You'll see them. <laughs> Never thought of that one. <laughs> <laughs> you could be onto something, though. Yeah. I'd tell a guy over here. Officers over here. The new team of carers are Mark. He's a good boy. Bill. That's all you're getting. And Andrew. Mm -hmm. Kisses. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Self-medicating. The pups need worming, vaccinating and flea treatments. What happened to the flea powder? <laughs> Went out about 20 years did ago. It, did it really? Yeah. Come on. The inmates are keen to show Chris how far the pups have progressed in just six weeks. It's not bad, Bill. He's going to help some poor bugger out in a wheelchair, and that's what I'm looking to help, yeah. to make life better for somebody in a wheelchair. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Mark was convicted of attempted murder and has been in jail now for 21 years. Yeah, Yoshi uh, is my mate. Up. Yeah. It means a great deal. I can't put it into words. These dogs, they don't judge them. To them, they're an owner, a companion, a mate, someone they trust and someone they believe in, and they can really lean on each other and, and have a, a great bond with no conditions. He's a good boy. Yeah, he is. Good boy. The feeling is, um, is stupendous. It's, it's, it's really good. Uh, it has me glowing inside. I'd really feel now uh, I'd be lost if I don't see him for a day or two. He's a good boy, eh? Damn. He's going along OK. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a limp, but I think he'd done that in enclosure on the weekend playing with the other dogs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So what, limping on the front legs? Yeah. When Chris checks Yoshi over, Mark reveals his mate has developed a bad limp in the mornings. The funny thing about these pups is when they're playing, when they're running around, you don't notice the subtleties. And when Mark said that Yoshi's been limping on that left paw, my heart sunk. Because if that is a developmental problem like elbow dysplasia, that's the end of the program for Yoshi. He can't continue, he will not be an assistance dog. And for Mark, that would just be beyond heartbreaking. When I started looking over Yoshi, even though I never liked to see pain, to see just that slight little wince he gave when I twisted his wrist around, it seems to, seems to resent it. It was a good thing because that indicated a sprain, which is treatable with rest, and with anti-inflammatories. It'll get into his system and reduce the inflammation in that wrist joint, okay. take away the pain, yep. the soreness, yeah. and the swelling. Yeah. And by doing that, you should notice that in those mornings, he's a lot more free and easy and can run around. Oh, that'd be No good. worries at all. But to get the effect, he does actually have to swallow it, which might take some time. <laughs> oh, you've done it. Well done. Oh, good boy, Yoshi. Get in the car. Today, Andrew, Mark and the pups are taking their training to a new level. It's their first public outing to see if the puppies can behave during a visit to a local primary school. It's a big step for both inmates and pups. This lot of inmates, this will be the first time they've left the centre to um, mingle with the public, with the pups. Yeah, that's on your mind the whole time you're out. But, you know, something may happen. God forbid that one of them tried to do a runner, so it should be very interesting. Hey, Yoshi goes all right. Yeah. He's not too frightened and it'd intimidated good. by the children. Yeah. It'd be good to see how they go with the kids' access. Yeah. You know, yeah. They all want to yeah. get in there and touch yeah. the pups and that. It'd be yeah. good. Yeah. Mark and Andrew have been given permission to take their trainee assistance dogs to a local primary school. Mark has been inside prison for 21 years. That car trip was something else. We're driving along. 
cat the whole time is worried there's going to be some sort of mass breakout. But all the while, I was just totally absorbed in the fact that Mark had never been in a car that had electric windows before. Press button windows up there, not the old handles up and down at the wall. Yeah, I tell you what's um, blown me away, that the, um, the radio and that. Yeah. 20 years ago, they weren't like that. No. I mean, she's worried he's going to run away. He wasn't going anywhere. He'd never seen anything like this before in his life. And when you think about it, it's, it's mind-blowing to think that that's 21 years without being in a car. I can't, just can't imagine that. Yeah, I love the forests. Love seeing the pine trees. Yeah. This is the third lot of training assistance dogs to visit the school. Hello. And the students can't wait to see the newcomers. They just love them and love the boys bringing them down. We're now in the process of trying to organise sponsorship of one of the pups in Kirkconnell. Siggy. Yeah, Yoshi, speak. <coughs> speak. Sp oh, you're chagging. <laughs> <laughs> speak, boy. Yoshi, speak. <coughs> Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> speak. <laughs> They're always very polite and very concerned about the children and doing the right thing in the school. Good on you. Give this lady a gold star. <laughs> Just be gentle, kids. You don't want to, you don't want to overwhelm the dogs. He's nice and shiny, Addy. He's a good boy. That was precious. I mean, you can't put a price on that. I know the, do uh, the children love the dogs, so, and because of that, it made me feel good. It was like a father with his son or something like that in the first football game when he scores his first try, so yeah, it was good. The school trip was very special, just to see those kids so absorbed in those puppies just shows you the amazing power of animals. But they didn't even notice there were two inmates in their room. To them, the fact they were from a prison did not matter one little bit. They were these magical people that were training these dogs to do these incredible things for an incredible purpose. That was all that mattered, and that was great. Then they go and live with somebody, you know, that's got a wheelchair on that to help them out. Yeah, like at disabled. Yeah, disabled people. Yeah. Back at Kirkconnell Correctional Centre. Yoshi, wait. Mark takes Yoshi wait. for more training, but he's just not paying attention. Nah, <laughs> Yoshi, come on, boy, come on. After 18 months of intensive work, Yoshi will hopefully become an assistance dog for a disabled owner. I look at these dogs and, you know, you can't help but wonder which is going to be the one that makes it. And Yoshi... <laughs> I don't know about Yoshi. <laughs> That's not right, Yoshi. I think Ziggy's a bolter. I think Ziggy's... He's got the looks. Somehow, he might even have the brains as well. Shake. I love him. He's my little mate, you know. From sad, I can just cuddle up to Ziggy. I can... You know what I mean? He's there for me and I'm there for him. Can't hear. Yeah. Andrew is just 20, but has already been in and out of jail several times. Yes. Good boy. Well, this time, I'm not going to say I'm not going to stay out, but um, I'm going to definitely try my hardest. I want to stay out for the freedom and uh, I'm going to get my own pup and that when I get out. So, um, yeah, it, make, it makes me want to stay out. Mark and Andrew will be eligible for parole shortly after they finish training Yoshi and Ziggy. Oh, to say I'm over the moon with it is probably, you know, understating it. The, the guys are incredible. The, the benefits to all, all the inmates, the staff and everybody, it's, it's really great. And then to know that the benefits flow on to members of the community, it gives everybody a real, real buzz. Yuki, go to bed. It's sad to be in a place where people are, I guess, down. Close the door. But you've got this little pocket of happiness, little pocket of hope that these dogs provide. They're three dogs that mean the world to everyone in here. It's, it's fantastic. It has me thinking about the wrongs that I've done in the past. Um, it has me feeling that I have contrition. It, it makes life... Uh, that much better, like when he puts his head on me uh, chest. I give him a good pat and I say, he's a good mate, you know? You're a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? Hey? 
Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.